What's going on everyone? It's Rich Locks in today's video, girl. Oh honey, you won't believe the drama and what happened at Generation Beauty. You're gonna be shook, honey. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, so Generation Beauty is like a convention that happens every year. I believe Ipsy is behind it, you know, bringing a lot of sponsors and stuff like that. Well girl, here's the tea, okay? So this year, it was held at the Los Angeles Convention Center. People paid $185 on pre-sale. Some people paid more than that. And from what I was told, Ipsy, you know, puts this together. So you know when you get Ipsy stuff, a lot of it like, you get little goodie bag. In your Ipsy bag, you get makeup from all these brands, right? So all those brands are at this convention and you get goodie bags, you get all this free stuff because you do pay a lot of money for the ticket. So to kind of balance it out, you get like this huge goodie bag that supposedly, allegedly, the goodie bag is worth $400. Well, this is where the drama comes in, honey. People are saying that their goodie bag was not worth $400 worth of their stuff. And there's video footage on this Instagram account that's alleging anybody wondering why their swag bag didn't have an item from every brand this year, looks like Ipsy volunteers decided to take what they wanted with no regard for paying attendees. Where is Ipsy's management? Honestly, this situation keeps getting more and more ridiculous. Ipsy Care has yet to address the situation. They just continue to hide, block, delete everything that isn't positive. Now look, just to be fair to Ipsy, girl, I wasn't there. So I don't know all the tea. I'm showing you what's already out there on the internet, reporting the news, allegedly my opinion, my conspiracy. From the video footage, it doesn't look too good. It looks like people are rummaging through it. The workers may be picking out stuff for themselves. I cannot confirm or deny if that's what's going on. It just looks bad because maybe they were taking stuff out so that way everybody's equal with their bags. Like who knows what real tea is. Uh, but if you just go off the photo, it does kind of look bad. But then again, I wasn't there, so I can't really can't say what was happening. But people are upset that the fact that the goodie bag wasn't worth Supposed to be $400. Well, Ipsy said it was, girl. There's some more drama that went down too. You see this right here? They said on this Instagram account, the same Instagram account says, this site was far too common at this weekend's Gen Beauty by Ipsy. Lines were closed everywhere you turned. Ipsy Care seemed more concerned with providing excuses rather than solutions. It can't be that hard to host an event this size if other brands, companies, conventions, and organized and held in the same venue with more success. I don't see why Ipsy does not do the same. This was kind of weird. This photo they posted also on the Instagram account says, some booths were taking our contact info the old school way on pen and paper. Not too sure why in this day and age where almost all booths had electronics, but sure, I'll sign my life away. Now girl, the beauty community is so upset of how Gen Beauty went down, girl. They even contacted the news. ABC7, they're, I mean, they're getting the news involved to try to find out what was going on. Supposedly this event didn't go as smooth as they wanted it to. There's this video footage here, also on that same Instagram account that says, Ip Ipsy went as far as to cut off my three wristbands because according to security, they were property of Ipsy. No, $189 souvenir items for this girl. Also, side note, they felt like they needed three people to escort me out. Five, if you include Megan and Nika from Ipsy Care. Such a shame that the easiest solution to silence someone asking questions is to simply escort them out of the event. It seems one cannot have a dissenting opinion at Gen Beauty LA because they will escort you out of the first sign of questioning their methods. Can't hear my opinions if I'm not there, right? Film this on Marco Polo app and send it to my friends and let them know what was going on. They were still inside the event. I couldn't figure out how to post the video from my phone, so I just filmed there. So here's a picture of the Ipsy bag and that's some other photos here. And this is some of the stuff that you got in the Ipsy bag. Now on that Instagram account, it says, I can't bring myself to organize this better at the moment. However, I dumped it all out onto the messy floor and counted 39 products. 39 products and 46 brands listed. Something doesn't add up. 
considering there was supposed to be a sample from each brand in the swag bag. Ipsy continues to disappoint all the way home. I'm gonna to try to calculate the approximate value of each item just to show how it's not gonna add up to $400. Here's another photo here. It says line ends here, closed for five minutes. More closed lightning pass lines all over today. This one particular had 10 people in line when they closed it. Uh, I think that the main issue is, I think that from what I heard some of the drama was that Ipsy didn't know, and I, I can't speak for Ipsy, I'm not there, but this is some of the rumors, girl. I was told that Ipsy didn't let the vendors know, the people who was giving out free goodies and stuff like that, they didn't let them know how many tickets were sold so that the companies didn't know how many bags of goodie bags to bring or stuff to give out to people. That's one rumor I heard. Like I said, I can't confirm or deny it, girl, but it just seems like, just from this Instagram account, it just seems like it was kind of disorganized. Again, I'm not there. I'm just forming an opinion of stuff that I see. and. Like I said, the people that attend these conventions, it's a very specific type of person. They love makeup, they know what they're going to get, they have these high expectations, like we've done this before, and this time it's not really adding up. And then when it comes to women, girl, they're so particular, they're like, girl, did you just goop me the house, girl? Did Ipsy Gen Beauty goop the girls, honey? Feel like you're getting gooped? You just get upset. You just don't really wanna go back. So I don't really know. I think that out of, there's several beauty conventions that go on throughout the year. This is just one of them. There's other ones out there. And people always say, well, this convention ain't as hot as it used to be. And this convention has more money behind it and more beauty vloggers show up to this one. So that's the one we wanna go to. I am really wanna know what your favorite beauty convention is if you're that type of person who goes to them. I've never been to a beauty convention, uh, but I pretty much know how a convention works, girl. Uh, you pay your ticket online, you show up, you get your little pass, your souvenir pass. Sometimes you get a goodie bag and all the people who are there would put something in it. And as you walk around the convention, you can get free stuff or take pictures or whatever the case may be. And a lot of times you go to these conventions because they give you makeup that's not even out yet. So like it'll drop like next week or next month. But if you attend the convention, you have the option to buy it right there before it goes out to like the public. And so that's one reason to go to the conventions because you kind of get like a first access to stuff. If you love makeup, then it's like more of an excuse to go. But also with the amount of money that you paid, you know you're gonna walk out with some eyeshadow brushes, some lipsticks and all these other, and all these samples, the house girl. Going back to the Instagram account, it says, Megan, your marketing and communication director had me escorted out of the event this weekend for asking questions regarding Ipsy lack of preparation and the false advertisement and the value of the swag bag. Not a $400 value and numbers of brands in attendance, 46, not 50. Megan claimed I was harassing people and taking their pictures. Aren't we supposed to take pictures of everything? Isn't that one of the most encouraged activities? Take pictures, hashtag and tag was deemed a problem simply because I asked questions to look and took down names of people I spoke to to try to get answers as to why they even, as to why the event was so disorganized. So check this out, I'm not making this up. Look, there are nine people in this Moda Brush Lightning Pass line and they closed it off with nine people in line. Sad to see a lot of brands are not attending this year looking at you. So, you know, as you can see, a lot of brands weren't there. So you can see like It Cosmetics, The Vamp Stamp, Hello Products, Chapstick, Makeup Forever US, Ardell, which is like the eyelash company, ColourPop, Tarte Cosmetics. And so some of them girls, so some of those companies just weren't there and they weren't there for a reason, girl. Let's just be honest, okay? These companies are getting more and more hip to the game. Consumers, like this person on the Instagram account, is becoming more and more smarter. You girls at home already know before you even buy something, you're already on your phone, seeing, seeing other prices from other places, so you already know the tea. With that being said, it's obvious to know that some conventions just bring in a better crowd or a bigger crowd than others. So if I was a makeup company, and I know that Gen Beauty, that I went to Gen Beauty last year and there wasn't that many people it's exposure for my brand, but I know that this convention next month brings in more people, there's more beauty gurus, there's more money behind it. I'm gonna pull out of this one and go over there to that one. But that's if I was struggling, girl, you know? If you're a makeup company that makes millions of dollars, girl, why not be at all the conventions, you know? That's one argument, but you can always say, you know, sometimes they wanna save a little coin 
and just only put their money in the conventions that are gonna bring the most exposure to it. Like I said, I don't know all the tea. You can check out all the rest of it on that Instagram account if you're interested in this story. But to me, it seems like this convention is not as hot as it used to be, girl. And I think a lot of it is having is not having like the big names, girl. Like if Manny Amy Way was scheduled to appear, or Laura Lee, or Jeffrey, or Nikki Tutorials, like if they paid them girls to come, or like a Michelle Fawn, because I didn't see any pictures of her yet. Do you get what I'm saying, girl? Like the big names behind it, or maybe like a performances or something like that. It, it turns from a convention to almost like a flea market in a sense, girl. But anyways, girl, I don't know. I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say about it and if Ipsy will even put out a statement about it. That's pretty much all the drama I have for you today. If you liked the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, since you're haters, when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. All right, see you next video. Bye, love you so much.